Hey everyone, it's Russ Rankin, and I'm here to tell you about the songs on my new album, Farewell, Catalonia. The first song in the album is called Pushing Daisies, and it's a song about continuing to hold on to ideals and wanting to change the world and make things better as we get older and have less and less time to do it, where we're distracted by the the day-to-day -day routine of of careers or families or, or whatnot. And so it really is a w about a song about trying to find a way to remain vital and remain just angry enough to to want to act, to want to participate and, you know, in the political and in the public arena. And so it's a song about realizing that, like, if, if I don't do it, you know, who will? And that being busy, having a family, it's not a, it's not a reason to to stop caring and it's not a reason to to take myself out of the out of the fight the next song uh, departures departures is about it's about uh, long-distance relationships it's basically a song for anybody who's ever been in one of those relationships where you just spent way too much time at airports coming and going and long long bouts of time between seeing the person that you're with and it's really about the idea that even though you know we're apart, that uh, I'm still I'm still with that person, or they're still with me uh, in you know in the heart and the mind. So that even though you're you know thousands of miles apart for long periods of time, that you still uh, are still with that person. The third song is American Amnesia, and this is a song about. It's, it's a pretty timely song to, you know, about what's been going on the last few years. We've had a recession. We've had a real distillation between the, the, you know, this tiny group of people at the top of the economic food chain in our country and then the rest of us who are, who are sort of left to fight for the scraps and, and, how, and how, what that looks like as an American and how does that measure up to the ideals that we've set for ourselves as a people and as a country and not being okay with it and not being okay with, with austerity and people getting their houses foreclosed on and people having declared, declared bankruptcy because they can't pay the doctor bill and just basically f about having us having forgotten uh, what we're supposed to be here to do, like what we're really about. The next song is Points Between. Hands down, it's my favorite on the album. Uh, turned out really, really well, and it's it's sort of my take on touring and missing somebody back home, girlfriend, boyfriend. Basically, it's for anybody who who toured in the '90s or before, when there was no cell phones and there was no uh, computers really. Like, it's about you know long long periods of time away from the person that you love and way too much time to think start thinking crazy thoughts like oh we'll get married when we get home it's going to be great and you know long hours long conversations on pay phone booths uh, just stuff like that I mean I th any, anybody who toured uh, hopefully will will like the song and, and will remind them of something and this is what we get is the next song. And that's really just about realizing that our failure to act, our failure to participate in the civic and public arenas has resulted in one of the most openly inept governments we've ever seen in this country. And the level of hate and fear that's being pushed into actual legislation uh, should frighten any any American, and the fact that it's this is happening is not just some something that happened in a vacuum. It's that we we either elected these people or we let these people get elected because we didn't show up. And so it's really about coming to terms with the fact that we we deserve this. This is what we get. But it's also a call for change. It's a call for people who maybe in, in the past have been passive or, or apathetic to, to find something that 
interests them in the civic arena and participating next time. Uh, the next song is called Cold Blues, and this is just a song about a friend of mine who had a really strong bond with their father and then had a falling out, like a really serious falling out with their father, and just a song about the pain of that, and then hopefully, as the song gets towards its end, uh, reconciliation. Uh, Flesh and Bone is the next song, and that's just about how I'm not okay with my tax dollars uh, being spent to commit atrocities around the world. It's about tearing down the the facade of, of the military being being a purely one-dimensional, heroic, prideful thing. It's about uh, the fact that, that we are indoctrinating a lot of our young people into committing atrocities with, with our tax money while completely ignoring a crumbling uh, a crumbling infrastructure of a country at home. And it's really about realizing that, that people are dying every day and that their blood is on our collective hands uh, as a country for letting this happen and for allowing war profiteers and lobbyists to use our money to commit atrocities around the world in our name. Get a Room is the next song. The Psychedelic Furs are one of my favorite bands. Uh, Richard Butler is one of my favorite singers. And so this is a, a Psychedelic Furs cover. So it was a really awesome opportunity for me to try to pretend to be Richard Butler. And did okay. Did all right, I think. And what's cool about it is it's the only song in the album that has any actual drums. And it's not one of the Psychedelic Furs' most popular songs. It's not was not a big hit. So it's, it's sort of... Uh, it's kind of cool. It's like some people who maybe even know the Psychedelic Furs, maybe have never heard this song. Uh, Indivisible is the next song, and it's really about feeling isolated and beaten down and how our society today just does not foster community, how our society today is really built towards separating us from each other and sort of you know, a realization of that and recognizing that it's not cool. When I Pray is the next song, and that's just about the slow, sad um, disintegration of a relationship. Shine is the next song. Shine is about a long distance relationship coming to an end, and then wondering if that person ever thinks about you anymore uh, as they've moved on and then maybe they're with somebody else and just wondering if if there's ever a moment where they think about you if they remember you at all and the last song is called under the hours and it's just about a person who's terminally ill in a hospital bed and just being kept alive by tubes and machines and wishing they could just die um, but on being unable to end their own life because they're, they can't move or anything like that. And so, uh, you know, at first the family comes and visits every day, and then it's less and less, and pretty soon the person's just left there by themselves to, uh, to suffer and wish they were free. But that's it. Those are my songs. I hope you guys like them, and I will see you later.